Welcome back to Orchid Delirium. I'm Brenda and today I'm unboxing an order from Tropical Orchid Farms. I promise I was minding my own business. I was watching my favorite orchid hobby YouTube channels and just perusing and I received an email from Tropical Orchid Farms encouraging their subscribers to come by and take a look. So having just been on their site the previous day, I almost didn't look, but I thought, well, why not? So what did I see on their list? It just made me like <laughs> pump my brakes and stop hard and oh my gosh, I did not hesitate. It had a... Um, to plant limit so i went ahead and threw that in my car and a couple of other items just to pad the box of course but i would like to introduce you to saffronitis ceruna canae and if you're familiar with saffronitis ceruna it has a orange bloom um they're very highly pigmented almost like a hot red i have um, two individuals of the regular uh, Saruna and it is still a seedling so I'm not going to see blooms on that for a bit um, but this one is close to blooming size and you can tell that um, it is a Cattleya <laughs> but I am just one of those people that these will always be Saffronitis no rhyme or reason for that other than I'm just super annoying but also I have worked so much this week and I'm just so tired and I came home and unboxed this and it was already evening and so the light on these uh, is not that great but I'm gonna take a more relaxed um, chill uh, introduction to these so please enjoy The next plant I ordered was the Medio Calcar Decoratum and this one, oh my gosh, it knocked my socks off. I googled it. They had a picture of the bloom on the website up close but I am just one of those people that love to see the whole plant up close and it is worth a google. It is this cute little like cistern cup cauldron shaped bloom just it's so cute enjoy
just so cute with its little succulent uh, leaves it just it looks so juicy like if you squeezed one just all this water would burst out and um, I just cannot wait to see those blooms I I'm just I couldn't be more excited um, I've quickly turned into the Kefirstinia lady I have um, two more to add to my party of I guess it'll make a party of five <laughs> this is Kefirstinia parvilarvis and it has a magenta throat and this cute speckling on it it kind of looks like a mix between a bulbo and an oncidium type i really love these there's always something going on with them this one clear clearly has some kind of hydration issue so it needs to go in my high humidity tank but i just love these every time you look at them there's just another little nook of treasure like something to find and explore and see and i just find that super exciting I also received a sanguin sanguinoletta for free as my bonus plant. Uh, enjoy as we take a look at them. concerned with the black spotting on this one I learned on Alma del Bosque that cooler growers can develop this black spotting from heat exposure so we'll see how they grow but anyway thank you so much for joining me for this unboxing and for tolerating my attempt to not fight orchids take care